The number one killer is time. It destroys us all. This is what you need to know. Time broke. A growing fracture leading to the end of time. We went after a device that could fix it. Things turned ugly. Paul Scream was there to stop us. He has superpowers. Jack. Him and me both. We failed. Jack. And of course, time travel was involved. Jack. Going too fast for you? Okay. What do you want to cover first? You tell me. Let's start at the beginning. When you first arrived at Riverport University. I came back home to see my best friend, Paul Serene. He wanted to show me what he'd been working on. My brother, Will, was a scientist. He was also involved. Paul said it was world-changing. He was right. Whoa! Come on! Watch where you're going, man! Fuck off! Get out of the road! Asshole. Riverport University. Here we are. Thanks for the ride. No problem. You'd been away for six years. Paul and I had kept in touch, but, well, not so much. How did it make you feel? I was just happy to see Paul. Hmm. Paul told me to meet him at the physics building. Rough night, huh? Oh, it's for, um, I, it's just whatever doesn't even matter anymore. I'm, um, yeah. I guess I should go find Paul. Paul. Jack. I just got to the campus. Where are you? God, it's good to hear your voice. Uh, when you hit the courtyard, look right, you'll see this fancy modern physics building with the lights on. I'll meet you inside there. I am so looking forward to this, man. You still haven't told me what this is. I know. See you soon. Why 4 a.m.? Why not wait till morning? Paul had always been a showman. Huh. That's vaguely ominous. Some protest. Hey, do you know where the physics building is? You mean the big ass metallic turtle behind me? Hard to miss, man. Thanks. Protests seemed like a lost cause. Made me sympathize with the students. If you're with that fraternity, you've done enough damage. We're being shut down. <laughs> hey, I come in peace. I'm just meeting a friend nearby. At 4 a.m.? Yeah, tell me about it. Well, we're spreading awareness about Monarch Solutions, so if you want to know how badly they're giving us the shaft, then you can just ask me. All right, what's going on here? Okay. How would you feel if you knew a corporate monopoly was taking a massive dump all over your personal history? <laughs> uh, that's quite an opener. Good. Because that beautiful library over there is over a hundred years old. It's part of the city's heritage. And Monarch Solutions plans to tear it down tomorrow. Do you want to know why? We've got a chart with all the details.
Monarch's tearing down the library to build another research facility. For what? I bet you're gonna tell me. Hmm, to push their corporate agenda. I mean, look at those numbers. They're slowly taking over the city and everybody's completely blind to it. Uh, it doesn't look good. Hey, I gotta meet my friend, but you keep fighting this, okay? All right, enjoy your booty call. <laughs> Not exactly. Paul had always been hungry for success. Driven. He made it onto a lot of those top young professionals lists. And now he was coordinating some huge project at the university. It's a big deal for him. Hey, protest's over. At home. Now why I'm here, Chief. Holster that safety whistle. Prick. <laughs> Where's your uniform? Excuse me. Come on. I've been in shit enough to smell out security. You sure this is somewhere that you want to be sniffing around? Was that supposed to be a threat? Because that's adorable. Just walk away. Liam Burke, a Monarch security officer. Our first meeting was cordial compared to him introducing a rifle butt to my head later on. You made a long trip just to see a research project? Well, reading between the lines, Paul was under a lot of pressure. <laughs> he needed a friend. I wanted to help him any way I could. Son of a bitch. Jack Joyce. In the flesh. The esteemed Mr. Paul Serene. We're shaking money bags. Shut up and bring it in. <laughs> Welcome home. Six years. And I was starting to think you'd never come back. Yeah, me too. <laughs> come on. This way. We're going upstairs to the project lab. How was the flight? First class. Thank you for that. It's a step up from our van trip to Utah. I missed that van. I'm guessing that Will's not meeting us. He doesn't know we're here. I knew Paul had asked my brother Will to consult on his project. Will was all the family I had, but he was difficult. In here, Jack. Going up. It's quite the facility you got here. What can I say? I have a knack of milking money out of wealthy investors. Protests against Monarch are going strong, I see. Yeah, I'm kind of surprised you didn't join in. I thought the kind of trouble was your forte. Well, it used to be our forte. You're the one that sold out. Oh, I don't know. Rich and successful isn't too bad. You should give it a try. There's more to this than you're letting on. Is it about my brother? Still worry about him, huh? If Will did something wrong, then... Jack, man. Look, I've been tight-lifted about this for a reason. This project we've been working on is going to change the entire world. Uh, why do I smell one of your long-winded presentations on the horizon? I would never. Oh, look. <laughs> a perfectly placed presentation to illustrate the project. Now, who put that there? <laughs> oh, shocking. Come on. We'll get to your lab. I want to see your presentation. I know you love this stuff. Come on, man. Dazzle me. Well, if you insist. Progress. Our primary drive as a species. Over time, we have cured life-threatening illnesses. Explore the world. Oh, good. Going into marketing spiel mode. Don't ruin my flow. But there is one element which denies us true progress. Time itself. Now, I'm not a scientist, but here's how it's being explained to me. 
We've known that, in theory, a rotating black hole creates a deformation in space-time, potentially allowing travel through both space and time. Years ago, William Joyce, your brother, posited the existence of chronon particles, now known as Meyer-Joyce particles, which fill an all-encompassing field, enabling the constant and steady progression of time. Here at Project Promenade, we have combined both these theories to discover a way to manipulate that field. And the results are staggering. There's more, but that's enough of a primer for now. All right, let's do this. So this is about quantum physics. Paul, you know my brother spent years stuck down that rabbit hole. Is that why you brought Will on as a consultant? When Dr. Kim passed away, your brother was the obvious choice to bring in to replace him. Welcome to Project Promenade. Oh, shit. You guys must have some budget. What is all this? The future, Jack. You are looking at the biggest discovery of our time. It's impressive, but Will's the scientist. What do you need me for? There's a reason we're doing this at 4 a.m., Jack. I need someone I can trust. I need you to help me convince Will. Yeah, I had a hunch. When your brother found out the scope of what we were building here, he... Well, you know Will. Yeah. Hang on, I gotta get something from my desk. Will overreacted, scared off the investors, ranting about miscalculations, dangers, all with no evidence. It works, but they're gonna cut our funding if I don't prove it. You always did drag me into these situations. Me drag you. One word, Utah. <laughs> All right, touche. And from what I hear, you've attracted plenty of trouble without me these past few years. Well, apparently it's my forte. I see the concept of personal space is still foreign to you. Hey, somebody's got to keep tabs on you. Jack. You know, asking for her help is not easy for me. I am in deep trouble. You see, the tests I have to run here are not, strictly speaking, legal. You're the only one I can trust to help me with this. Whatever Will did, I want to make it right. I love my older brother, but he didn't make it easy. It's already essentially set up. Anyone can do it, but you're the one I want to do this with. Jack, thank you. I knew I could count on you. Where does this airlock lead? A better question might be, when does it lead? <laughs> well, that's deep. I need you to push the lever over there, labeled chronon conduit. That'll activate the core. I'm gonna run diagnostics and make sure it remains stable.
We need to keep pushing forward, Jack. <laughs> That's just the Chronon conduit initiating. Are you sure it's supposed to do that? so activating it can be a bit intense. A black hole? What exactly are we testing here? You're about to find out. This way, we've got to raise the corridor. Just like old times, eh? Slightly illegal, moderately reckless. I'd raised some hell with Paul in the past. I could tell this was different. Still, I didn't understand how massive and far-reaching the consequences for this would be. How could I? I knew Paul. He played it cool, but I could tell he was nervous. It's happening. We're really doing this, Jack. It's gonna be amazing. Here, take this. You need this key to activate the corridor. We need to turn the keys at the same time to activate security precautions. Ready? It's like we're launching a nuke. Wait, we're not launching a nuke, right? One way to find out. Three, two, one. God damn, Paul. What is this? The corridor. The passenger enters one end, travels around the loop, exits the other and arrives at the predetermined time in the physical location where the machine is situated in that time. Passenger? Wait, wait, wait. This is a corridor for... You're actually going inside that thing? In the machine, through time? It's a fucking time machine. I'm going to be the first, Jack. And you're my witness. This is crazy, Paul. I mean, this can't be safe. What happens when... Our team has already proved it works in the trial phase. It is ready. We've passed every test, every inspection. We're about to make history, Jack. All you have to do is hit that switch. Two minutes to the past. Remember this moment. <laughs> what? How? It's, <laughs> it's fine. It's okay. Stay calm, Jack. Stay calm. There's, there's two of you. You just fucking multiplied. This is exactly what was supposed to happen. That's he's he's me, a future version of me from two minutes in the future. <laughs> Your evil future self. We did it! Fucking incredible. I mean, just... Imagine the implications. We could warn people about disasters before they disasters happen. before they happen. Cure, cure diseases, diseases before, before they, they spread. spread. I just had this conversation. <laughs> Still sounds good second time. Jesus Christ. Now go into the machine. You need to complete the cycle. Yeah. Yes. Of course. Wait, Paul, what are you doing? It's all a big loop, Jack. I need to enter the machine and travel back to the moment I exited the machine in order to, well, be here. And what if you don't? There is no what if. I'm here, it's already happened. You saw it, Jack. We did it. Oh, that's impossible. That's, that's literally impossible. I mean, I can't even... There's no time to stop now. We need to test the other direction. Set the machine to five minutes to the future.
What are you doing? Oh, no. Jack. Will? You have to help me with this. We have to shut this thing down now. No, 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 no. Stop him. Shut up. Hold, hold on. The core. Hold on. We can't shut it down. Paul's still in there. Will. Shut up. Look shut at me. up. Look at me. Put the gun down and we can talk, okay? No, there's no time. You're not thinking straight. Put the gun down. Jesus Christ, Will. Time is going to end. Jack, you have to trust me. For what? No, I gotta let you out. No, 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 You okay? I think so. I'll find a way out. Make sure Will's okay. Yeah. Okay. I could hear Will's words in my head. Time is going to end. What the hell? This is crazy. Will. Will. She was right. All this time. I warned Paul. This could all have been avoided. We're too late. There was no way to help him. I didn't know where he'd end up. Jack. Hurry. <clears throat> He's here. What the hell? Hurry! This way! Jack, your hands. Gotta keep moving. No! Move. That was the first time my power started to manifest. An out-of-control burst of energy that saved Will. 
Jack, your proximity to the Pulse, it, it must have altered your relation to the Chrono Will, field. what I just did back there, what the hell is happening? That's what I'm telling you. Not in the right language. Explosion make time go bad. If time is an egg, then that egg is fucking broken. The time egg is fucked. What? Why is there an egg in this? There's a fracture in time. It's breaking down, leading to the end of time, and door. Uh, what? Well, locked. They cut my security clearance. <laughs> uh, that didn't help. Stand back. I'll get it open. HQ, securing the server room. Over. More of them. Hide. They're coming. In here. Warn Paul about this, about the calculations. I tried to make you listen to me. By shoving a gun in my face? Yes, a gun. The universal symbol for shut the fuck up and listen to me. Sound logic is always Shh. you. Hold up. Are you even here? That's your biggest concern right now? Paul brought me here to clean up your mess. My mess? Do you even... No context for any of this, Jack. You weren't here. A lot happens in six years. This is bigger than us. Can't make it personal. They're trying to kill us, Will. It's pretty goddamn personal. Listen, getting you involved is the last thing I wanted. I... I'm sorry. Right. Time is only gonna get worse. We have to stop this before it's too late. How? First, we have to get to my car. You're better at the door thing. Will, get out! Oh, God! Target's armed! Opening fire! Him down! Yeah, I noticed! Jesus! Go, go, go! Weapons free! Will! Stay down. Put down the gun, Joyce! Stop fucking shooting Fire at that. us! God damn it! Take it! Will, are you okay? I think so. Jack, that was... I know. This is way out of hand. I'd used a gun before. I'd been in a couple tough spots. Never had an army of pro gunmen chase me. Not good. This is not good. Wait. It's coming down. Hide! Not again. Come on, come on, come on, come on. You can do this. You can do this. Take him down! Oh! You guys are behind him! Monarch? Why the hell is Monarch? 
You play me! Time's acting up again. Did you hear that? They know our names. They knew we'd be here. They must be after the machine. We can't go to your car. Monarch could be expecting that. We have to, Jack. It's important. To fix the fracture, I, I need, we need to get to my car. Okay, just, just walk me through this, Will. Okay, time's broken, fine. But now you're saying we can fix it? In theory, I built something for such an event years ago. But finding the countermeasure won't be easy. The countermeasure? What? <laughs> okay. What happened? Maybe the door's still open. Let me try. Well, oh, crap, frozen again. Somehow I could focus and unfreeze Will, even if the world was what? still frozen. Stutter. She was right about the fracture, about all of us. Where's your car? This way. I met this girl on my way here. What are you doing? I'm gonna get her moving. Freezing. It worked on you. Why isn't it working on the others? I don't know. It may have to do with chronon exposure. Look at them all. It's a goddamn invasion. What are they doing? Why? Everybody. Every witness to what they've done. You said you were prepared for this, that you knew it was going to happen. How? Beth Wilder. It's complicated. I'll explain in the car. Through this door. lot. Oh God, that's, it's... Okay. Okay, Will, calm down, okay? I'll take care of this. I'll, I'll fight my way through. I'll get the car and I'll bring it around. Are you sure you can handle this? No. Are you sure you can fix time? No. Then we'll call it even. Here, you'll need the keys. Hey, Jack, be careful. Yeah, okay, I, I will. Whoa, 
What the hell? My powers were growing. I started to sense things, premonitions, echoes from the past. Just got orders from Monarch Actual. They want us to find a car belonging to William Joyce while we're here. Got a plate number? It's coming. It's probably Boron or Neutron or some shit. Parking lots, and you just had to pick this one. All right, where's your car, Will? I could see an echo of the past. Will, arriving at the university. I hope to God, God I'm not too late. Too late. But that's... in the past. Oh, shit! Something clicked. I could reach out and stop time in a focused Get area. Me. You don't know what you're doing! Well... Fuck! They're coming from where I left Will. I gotta get back. It's fast. I swear to God, if you hurt him!
change of plans. Screw the car. I need to get to work. Where is he? Where's my brother? They're taking him to the library. You might still be able to catch them. Why are you helping me? You're with them. It's more complicated then. Look, I don't know if you can make it, but you should hurry. That's the first time you saw Beth Wilder. Yeah. But definitely not the first time she saw me. Will. Will! No time to lose. I gotta get to Will. Supposed to take William, William Joyce alive if he doesn't put up a fight. fight. Please! Please! Let me go! Let me go. I can I shut can the hell up! But just, just shut the, just fuck, shut up, the fuck up, all right? right? Boss said Boss to take him to, to the library. library. Wants, to, Wants deal to deal with this, with this one person. personally. <gasps> fuck! <sighs> shit, shit. Oh, shit. Gotta get to the library. That's where they're taking him. Gotta keep moving, Jack. What? You still had no idea that Wilder was helping you? She wasn't the only one. <sighs> Nothing. Lights are out across the whole damn campus. Somebody cut them. <laughs> it's Joyce! Everybody move!
Okay, gotta get to the library. Why are you taking me here? It's a library. I need to return some fucking books. HQ, we've got William Joyce in the li- <clears throat> Over. Will, they took him to the library. I gotta find a way in. I gotta get to him fast. There's gotta be another way in. Where did that come from? Looks like a way up. Come on, I don't have time for this. Gotta slow that thing down somehow. We've got William Joyce in the library. Awaiting orders. They got him. Over. I wonder where the Roger. brother is. Keep a skeleton crew and wait for arrival of Monarch Actual. Everybody else needs to reunite Contact. at the Dry Docks Cronin Extraction Grounds. Huh? Wait for further orders. That's there. Library is set for five minutes. The library is ready to blow. Now?
you all right? You're fine. I got a whole new batch of messed up shit I need you to explain. To hurry. Where's my car? I didn't like the color. Let's get a new one. What? No, Jack. I need them. Ugh. Hold that thought. Oh. My briefcase was in that car. I'll take you shopping. It's a fucking briefcase. A briefcase is something I need in order to stop the crash. And you didn't think to spell that out Shit. to me before. <laughs> Yeah, well, it's not too late to leave you here. That's part of the messed up shit I need to explain. You got any theories about being able to manipulate time? No. It's time to come up with one. We have to hurry. Where's my car? I didn't like the color. Let's get a new one. What? No, Jack. I need them. Ugh. Hold that thought. Oh, my briefcase was in that car. I'll take you shopping. It's a fucking briefcase. A briefcase is something I need. And you didn't think to spell that out to me before. <laughs> Yeah, well, it's not too late to leave you here. I think they changed their minds. That's part of the messed up shit I need to explain. You got any theories about being able to manipulate time? Circle around! Did you see that? briefcase. Then we find Beth Wilder. Why? Who is she? She knows about the fracture. I trust her. Glad you trusted somebody. It's not that simple, Jack. They kept secrets from you to keep you safe. Safe? Look around you, Will. Does this feel safe to you? This isn't my fault. Beth warned me this would happen. I did everything in my power to stop it. But you never told me any of this. I couldn't just... How long have you known? We don't have time for this now, Jack. We have to get to that briefcase.